Instant replay live? <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know that you should have said 3, 2, 1 there. Well, it was <laughs> but just... welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Um, we're on a new episode, I guess, because I wasn't even paying attention that you made it. <coughs> but you didn't make it through here, so <laughs> we're all all new fails. <laughs> that'll be that'll be what this episode's all about. Um, oh, good job. Oh, good, good for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna commit to that. <laughs> uh, it's such a, a thing that we go back to over and over. I again. know, I know. It's so easy to. It's so bad. Um. Oh, I completely forgot until just now. <laughs> what? The, the last episode of Instant Replay Live, that's not true, <laughs> the last episode of Meat Boy in the first session of recording, so I think that's like Meat Boy episode 10, if my guess is accurate, um, you asked me about Best Boss Monster, and while I was editing, it totally hit me. Ooh. I know who the best boss monster is. Um, or, well, it's not even boss monster, I don't know why I'm saying monster. Just the best video game boss. Dagath Ur from the Morrowind Elder Scrolls 3 game. Okay. Is the perfect video game boss experience. He's built up so well in the lore. He's built up so well by the items you have to collect to be able to defeat him. And his battle feels so rich. Like, what you have to do is more than just hit him three times until he dies. I mean, I think you actually have to hit the heart three times. <laughs> Spoilers. Um, but, uh, you have to accomplish something. On, on You have to accomplish multiple things to be able to get there. And it feels so rewarding. And so, like, I just took down a deity-level evil power. And I would even go so far as to say, actually, all of the all the gods that you can kill in the Morrowind and Morrowind expansions count pretty high on that. Oh, you almost made it. Um, I would say they all count pretty high on that list of best boss fights. Something that Skyrim did not do at all. And Oblivion? Like, okay... I love the entire Elder Scrolls series, every single game I love, um, including Redguard, <laughs> the, you know, um, but Oblivion and Skyrim, they've definitely lost a lot of the heart of what makes mm -hmm. those games great. Morrowind was the, the, the ultimate Absolutely. example of... of per it just... I mean, I'm sure part of it is... It's kind of like people who are like, Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition is the best edition ever. You know, like... It's the thing that I experienced... Well, really you you understand what I'm saying. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like how you couldn't even commit to saying... Yeah, You're like, like, I... It, no, I don't want anyone... My mouth. I don't want anyone to believe that I actually think this. Gotta go wash fourth my mouth out with some Nickelback. 4th edition wasn't horrible. It just wasn't for me. Um... But yeah, uh, did you say wash it out with Nickelback? <laughs> yeah. Joe. <laughs> I didn't even hear it at first. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, um, Morrowind has an almost alien world, right? But with just enough, like, there's outposts of European fantasy within it. So you have that, like, I can relate to this and I can introduce these new concepts. It has powerful, big storylines that you are the centerpiece of. So you feel like you are important to you those start stories. start as a prisoner? You start as a prisoner in every <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> um, I love their but, but think about, like, Oblivion. Um, I, have you beaten Oblivion? No. Okay. I've, I've not beaten Elder Scrolls, uh, uh, Oblivion or Skyrim. I had a, I played a games a bunch, but I was satisfied with them before I got to the end of their quests. Okay. Let me tell you the, the finishing... This is going to be spoiler territory for anyone who hasn't played Elder Scrolls games. Um, but... But... I won't... You know, I won't spoil Morrowind other than to say that it's amazing. You have to go on that epic quest and it's good. The spoilers for Oblivion and Skyrim, though? They're hardly spoilers because they're such bad endings. That game, Those games are all about what you do before you get to the end, like Joe said. You're going to be satisfied. If you're going to be satisfied at all, you're going to be satisfied with the stuff you do before the endings. 
The endings are almost only there because they're oblig uh, 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 obligatory. Yeah. Um, but but Morrowind didn't do that, and Morrowind's are an example of how they could have done something better in those games. So in Elder Scrolls IV: Oblivion, you face um, all of these portals that are opening up to another dimension called Oblivion, and all of these demons called Daedra are pouring through, and you have to fight them and whatnot, and you feel like, okay, I'm important to this for some reason, right? Like, I'm the one who can stop this. And you find out your quest is to actually recover the heir to the Empire, um, because the Emperor's heir can um, sort of seal the portal, right, and save the day. He can he can end this thing, and that's cool. Like, all right, I can I can get behind someone else being important. I'm gonna clearly have to like protect him, right? You know, he's gonna be he's gonna be someone that is gonna be endearing, hopefully, as a character, and I'm gonna learn to love and and we're gonna be friends and we're gonna go fight things together and and you know it'd be cool if he's useful, but I should be the hero. You save him. You take him to the um, the main city where like everything's going down. This giant freaking demon comes out, and the dude turns into a dragon. The the guy you're supposed to protect, and you can't even do damage to the demon. I don't think you can't hurt it in any meaningful way. If you can, the dragon does all of the work and does all of the fight, and you just stand by and watch. Congratulations, your job was to go and tell somebody to go save the day. That's the main quest of Oblivion. I, I have to agree with you because of Marwin, but there is a whole entire set of, of people there who enjoy being the secondary to the hero. I, One of my best friends loves the idea of being, you know, just a stormtrooper in the army in a game of Star Wars that's supposed to be the Jedi saves the universe. Yeah, no. In a tabletop role-playing game, you can give that character so much personality. Mm -hmm. Right? And they're going to be special in a completely different way, in a tabletop role-playing game. You don't have to be the savior of the universe. You have to be important to the story. Okay. In Oblivion, you are not important to the story. Anyone, no character background necessary, anyone could have gone and told the guy, hey, I need you to go save the day. That's literally all you do. I mean, obviously <laughs> not literally, literally. You do go through and you save some people along the way. But... Nice. You unlocked Ogmo. Um, Alright, so can we switch to him, or should is it overpowered to switch to him? I want to finish the game as Meat Boy. Yeah, I think that's the way it should be. Um, I'll... Uh, yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, big, big issues with Oblivion. Go ahead and start the next level, dude. I'm going... I just have to go back through. I actually <laughs> pressed the wrong button. Uh, so then Skyrim... You find out that you are the special prophesied one, right? You are the dragonborn, as they... You, well, you started here and you went to the portal. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, you are the dragonborn, and you have to go and, and learn the dragon shouts and be able to use them against um, the big evil dragon, and only you can do this, right? Except that you get to the end, you go to what is effectively Asgard or Valhalla, and it's called a different thing in the universe, but it's the same thing. Um, and you go find all of these other Dragonborn, and you fight the lamest battle because it's the same dragon fight you have fought every other time in the game, except that you're super-powered with your allies, and the dragon has no chance of surviving. Like, why is that a good ending? Yeah. If, it, if it's not a major threat, and it's not... I mean, granted, you can slide the difficulty up, and it, maybe it, it feels like a little bit harder of a fight, but it's basically the same fight as every other dragon fight you've had. You know what I feel like... So, I feel like my favorite game in terms of satisfying your importance of a character? The original Knights of the Old Republic. Okay. Because, um, I mean, you're red. I mean, mine is, still, mine is still Morrowind, but yeah, that's a good example. The um, original KOTOR is... Is a fantastic game and a fantastic story. Yes. All of the all of the players in your party are relevant to uh, the ma the overall arcing development of the story. Can't you just stay? No, stay up there. I can't because I have to go around. No, I mean until the thing comes back I down. Know. I can go back down here though. Yeah, just I'd stay. rather jump from right here. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, um, yeah. No, it's it's a great story. Um, I'm I'm totally down with that. 
I'd still say Morrowind is my favorite because you're creating your own character. Sure. But it's it's good. Well, I mean, it's I guess solid. I agree with you in, in terms of Morrowind having one of the best bosses. I'm just saying from the perspective, the the. Oh the no, I mean, kind of I'm saying there. your character too. Okay, sure, sure. Being the what is it, the Nerevine? Nerevine? Oh man, I sound so dumb now because I talk about how much I love that game. <laughs> All the... right, don't go on because we're gonna end here. Uh, um, but, uh, we, I don't know, does this carry on for a second conversation? I think we're, I think we've, we've made our points okay. well enough. Uh, I, w I wish I could I, I want to finish then by outsider. saying, oh, I'm talking over you. What, the, word, the Dark Elf word for outsider, what they always insulted you with? You and what? Oh, is that what it was? Yes, oh, yeah. excellent. Which is definitely a racial epithet. Like, it's not okay. <laughs> we'll leave it, we'll leave well, it there. It's not a racial epithet because it's against all other races but Dark Elves. And even I don't know if you played a dark elf, they probably me, still say it to you. I mean, it sounds like Gaijin more than anything else. Yeah, it's you know, outsider. It's, yeah, you know, it's just a different kind of culture. It's yeah, less, I feel like less racial than yeah. nationalistic in a way. What I was gonna say is, I still played hundreds of hours in Oblivion and Skyrim. They are still awesome games, but their boss battles leave everything to be desired. So boring, and uh, and that's enough for me. So. Next time on Instant Replay Live, we'll we'll talk about something different, I guess, apparently. Because <laughs> <laughs> that finishes this out. <laughs> really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf?